So I've created a few views, finished off some trees. I'm not terribly excited about the results, but um, for Revit and um, the amount of computational time it takes to keep re-rendering these scenes, um, I think we've got something um, that fits within the lab time that we've allotted for it. So here's a view of the entry. It shows the pond, kind of gives an indication of the changing grade lower elevation. I'd hoped that would help show up a little bit better. It might be nice to accentuate that if you're doing topography to actually make that more like minus eight instead of minus six. Um, here's a pond view. And uh, I've changed this to a pond texture. I grabbed a texture out. Obviously it's still a little on the crude side, but I think the overall effect is quite um, descriptive. We can see the two drainage uh, streams having a lot of problems placing a shrubbery around them and not really happy with the kind of, I'd like to see tall grasses, um, but I haven't searched for any special um, elements there. And then one of the most important things for the idea of development of the site was this creation of a windbreak. Um, this deciduous tree that I picked is probably not the best. I think we could probably, let's see if we can find, um, let's try a spruce here. Yeah, spruces are actually lower to the ground, so they actually look like they could um, maybe a mixture of them here. So we were accomplishing both. And those are relatively small spruces, so um, and I'm really not happy with the way the colors play with each other. But um, anyway, so we have that windbreak, the pond, and the entry view. Um, I think you can start to pull it together along with the site view. Um, 3D of the site view. And once again, we get to, uh, it starts to get a little bit heavy on how long it takes to uh, render the scene for us. So I put some other um, trees in the landscape. These are very large, mature. I think they're oaks. Let's see what they are. Um, 42 foot scarlet oak. So they're really significant. Um, but this will be the model that you'll be able to do your labeling with as far as the elements that are in the um, in the site plan, um, you know, centering around environmental concerns. I'd probably just trim this down now so it was a little bit tighter that way. You know, like I say, it gets very, very long in the rendering time. So, so I'll come back to the uh, final uh, drawing layout um, for submittal in the uh, next clip.